Hey guys, it's Laura from Day by Diana World, and today we are going to look at Dash. This is one of the new STEM, some people would maybe call it a toy, I'm going to call it a tool, a way to help your child engage a little bit more in that science, technology, engineering, math. That's what STEM stands for, those areas. So this is from the Wonder Workshop, and it says, Smart Robots for Curious Minds. You need a compatible device. So we have iPads in the house, and that's one that can work with it. it. You get free apps that you can use with this, and there are some accessories. So this is the dash. We'll open it up in just a second to see what he looks like in person. And these are the accessories that are sold separately. You have different levels. This is to teach kids programming skills, which is very based on logic. You have different levels based on what age child you have. So for this one, I've got a 6-year-old and a 12-year-old. Then we're going to be testing it out. And I don't know if you can see here, there are different accessories that you can get. And that's just showing you what they are. Okay. And they are saying you can start as young as age 5 through 7 to get them started. And then ages 8 and up are going to get a little bit more advanced for their programming. So let's go ahead and see what comes in the box. Alright, it's a box within a box. nicely fits in. So here we have all the pieces that we're going to have for our main part of the dash. There's a quick start guide here. As you can see, he's made to roll on the ground. So I can just about guarantee I've seen similar devices out there displayed at homeschool conferences and the kids have been enthralled. And really interested in, hey, what is this? How do I make it go? You have to charge it, plug into your computer, or if you have a USB converter that you can plug straight in. Okay, so we've got two pieces here, and without even looking, I'm going to guess, I don't know if you can see from here. I'm going to guess these are going to be able to go on here, so if you want to have something going, maybe go here, depending what it is you want to attach to your bot. So this is what's in the box, and we'll take a look in a little bit and see what it is that your kids can do, different ways to engage learning. So inside the box here with the dash came a quick start guide. And it just tells you to start off by going to get your apps. Everything you're going to do to control this, you need to go through apps. You power on. It's showing the button here. Ooh, that's fine, Mr. So right there's the power button. Turn them on. He's moving. And when you need to charge it, here's where you connect the cable. The next thing we need to do is connect them to the app. We have three apps here that we downloaded. There are several different ones that you can pick from. I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the Go app. And here's your screen. It says before you take Dash, you can turn them off. Oh no, you have to keep them on for the okay. good calibrating. Before you take Put them on the floor. Make sure everything's switched on properly. It's going to take a few minutes to go. And there's the go button for this. Can you see this is the screen when you start, when I pushed on the go, dash go, to open it up. And this is how we're going to set them up. And like it says, it's going to take a couple of minutes. So I've actually switched to a different iPad because our older iPad is taking a long time to find Bluetooth devices. So when you get to the next screen, it says, oh, we found Dash. Do you want to select him? 
So we're going to go ahead and pick, and it's going to connect to our Dash robot. Okay, so it says Dash all done. Finish the update. Press the arrow to continue. Okay, so press the arrow to continue. And here you can personalize your robot. Okay. So once you get him connected, he came part, at least partially charged, so you can go ahead and hook up using the cable, hook him in to get them all charged up, and then the kids can start to play and learn. And like I said, these two little pieces came with it, so that you can attach things to him. Little brick items here, and you can buy accessories to go with it. So we've now got Dash connected through the Path app, and we're going to look, do a close-up here of the screen. And you can see this is, you can use your finger, you're going to control what Dash is doing.